But the winds that you sail... Blow between both your knees. Blow between both your... Oh, you mean farting. <laughs> Wait, Alamal. My name is Wout, and did you know that the woman tried to commit self-die by jumping off the Empire State Building? She jumped from the 86th floor, but was blown back into the 85th because of a gush of wind. And if you didn't know that, and I don't know if that's actually true, please do subscribe. Please do. Helps me out. And I will hope you also like the video. And of course, hit the notification bell. And let's enjoy the video. Let's go into some more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And let's hope Ranfi is not bugged this time. Oh yes, she isn't bugged. Oh my god, I'm so thankful. I want to see the Alliance map. East. Those Dane invaders, they came from East Anglia, is that right? Yes, Dane invaders who serve a man called Ruid. He seems to be sowing discord among Saxons and friendly Danes alike. Huh. I'm Years on ago, Discord. sons of Ragnar hoped to pacify the land. They appointed a steward named Finnir to find a suitable Saxon king. But the kingdom has fallen into ruins since, with no king and violent raiders ravaging what little peace remains. I suggest you make for East Anglia and find out what their steward is doing wrong. Yeah, let's do that. I'll make the trip east then. Speak to this Finnir myself. A good plan. As you can also see, I've got new armor. Hidden ones. The Assassin's armor. But I'm kind of disappointed. I was hoping the Assassin's armor would be the classic white and red color combination. He needs some milk. What? what? What's happening? Finnir? Oh, no, not unless Hafton sent you. Yeah, let's get straight to business. Whoever you are, I want to know why there's no king on East Anglia's throne. Because the man in question ain't been married yet. Once he is, East Anglia will have its king. And little else. Which man? Oh, you know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim, drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with the backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attacked my clan. I want to know why and how to oh, make sure these it guys. never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. They killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who cannot keep the Danes in line? Not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all, Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the arse and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage, no army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, he'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? He really doesn't like to be here. Uh, Oswald of Elmenham, who was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not, he's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl, made it clear. He wants a Saxon king married to a Dane for a greater show of unity. But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft. The settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. <sighs> you just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now, pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him. Well, let's catch him. 
I built myself a home here. Ruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh, how nice to have a home to speak of, man. Mine was burned to the ground years ago. And by home, I wonder. Please, all of you, be we Dane or Saxon, we all want the same peace. With land to till and home to keep. Without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run together, not apart. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I am king... <laughs> when I am your king, I'll set things right. You will be king when I am a flying troll. Hmm... Yeah, let's just introduce ourselves first. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I am not in the habit of killing kings, but I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes. For as long as I can hold out. So what happened here, Oswald? A clan led by a Dane called Ruid attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and hamlets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Helfden's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well. And I am here to see that it does not happen again. Lately I've come to learn you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else if not a king should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future. Ah, just tell me where to go. What begs your attention in Elm... Nam. Wedding preparations. Elmam is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman Valdis. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. So what's the holdup? The holdup? I don't yet have permission to marry Valdis. Her brothers don't approve of me. Just shaken. If you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. My doors are open to you. I'll be happy to join you. Tell me when and where. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. Lords, ladies, this is a day of peace and fraternity. I ask you here to Elmenham to offer my thanks and extend my generosity. Finir, our steward, to our guests of honor, Brothir and Broder, and to my lovely bride to be, Valdis. You get to plow our sister because Halfton commands it. But you won't drag us into bed with you, you hear? Uh, bro, dear, the is... last Saxon king we backed wasn't half as mushy as you, and we lost oh, a hundred man, all that rendering. protecting his maggoty arse. Oh, if you're going to be rude, then I must ask you to leave. This is my home. I won't be insulted here. <laughs> is that why you've come? To back this thane who smells of goat shit and cheap pebbles? <laughs> what does that mean? I'm no sorry, lines. did you say something? Do I bore you, wolf kissed? I'm here to protect my clan. If that means helping your king secure his throne, well, so be it. <laughs> You'd be safer crowning the throne. It's made of less wood than, uh, this one. We'd all be safer if you had the stones to stand up to Ruid's clan. But between the pair of you, I can't see a single nugget. You watch your tongue, wolf kissed, or you'll find it freed of your face! So... Easily wounded by words. Imagine the ruin my axe would inflict on your flaccid ego. My flaccid what? Please stop this. You heard me. Oh, rap battle. Or even better. Fist fight. Oh, help too. Oh, damn it. That woman was in my way. There we go. Finally. Stop! All of you! That's enough fun for tonight. If that's all you've got, it's little wonder East Anglia's in the state it is. You are weak, sheep herder. Your Norse friend here can't change that. We are better off without a king. 
Is that the one? Well, that's me, Don. She wants to marry? He wants to, to marry her? What a waste of time and good mead. These brothers will never back me in my claim. This oh, wait, dance is, is just one. beginning, Oswald. Get some rest. You'll need your energy. And uh, will I see you in the morning? We have much to discuss, I think. I'll find a place to lay my head. And Eivor, if you can help me ride this situation, you'll have a strong alliance with East Anglia. That much, I promise. You are Oswald's powerful bride-to-be, Valdis. I'm not his. This marriage is to be an alliance, nothing more. Besides, the man can barely carry a sword or speak with conviction. He does like you. Oswald is many things, but a gifted leader he is not. Still, of everyone I have met here, he is the only one willing to be responsible for the place. I will leave you to your day. You can find Oswald by the docks. And watching the river calms him, apparently. You can labor like a thrall, but you're no good with feasts. Not a good start for a king. No, indeed. I find a solitary comfort in my menial labors. Not something a king should admit to, I suppose. The brothers shamed you at dinner. It's your duty to answer their insults. Don't let the matter lay unresolved. Oh, it was a petty row with henhouse wolves. I'd sooner answer the move a cow than worry about their insults. Just because you don't care about it. I have a wedding to plan and a king to don't. save. I haven't time to suffer fools. They betrayed your hospitality, Oswald. Where I'm from, that's a grave insult. Well, well. Here's the mud-soaked Saxon who's been taxing my patience. Ah, uh, Stuart Finnair. I know I failed to impress at dinner yesterday eve, but fear not. The Danes will come around in time. You stay claim to the throne, you dazed dog with no bone. If Lord Halfdown were here, he'd squeeze ale from a stone. Yelling, Finner, my dranger, stick this cur in the ground. All mewling and spitting, here's Finnir, the hound. He has bark, but no bite, just a puppy I've found. <laughs> He doesn't understand. What just happened? That's flighting, Oswald. Using rhythm and rhyme to lay a man flat. Try it. Match his verse. There's no man you can lead, you dunce of the thirds. Um, a glutton you are. Just stop eating your words. Not bad. Not bad Not at all. Bad. Yeah. He's got the wit of a boar, so when he insults you, make him feel stupid. When I'm done with you, cur. You'll be raven flock food, but your brain soaked in mead and your heads made of wood. Wood, heads made of wood. That doesn't. Oh, you got to do all options. Under all that tough posturing is a sniveling boy. So dig deep. When he brags, take a jab at his manhood. I've sailed squalls and north winds. You, not even a breeze. But the winds that you sail blow between both your knees. Blow between both your. Oh, you mean farting? <laughs> Let's find out, Finnir. I challenge you to a home gang. You don't mean that, Oswald. That's a fight to settle disputes, no? A home gang. A fight to the death, yes. Let's talk it out then. <laughs> Too late. The challenge has been made. But a fight against Finir would not be anything to boast about. You'll fight me. What? Hold on. This is... That said, I should not be seen killing a Saxon in the streets of Elmenham. There's a nice islet down river, near Seahenge. The water will wash the blood clean away. Prepare the square, and we'll meet you there. I hope you're ready. <sighs> I have to be. Just give me a moment to mentally prepare. Do not make us wait long. It would not be kingly. You still got the touch for drawing a square. I've been in East Anglia many summers now, but I'll always be a Dane. Must we do this, Eivor? Strength and courage are always a boon, Oswald. You'll need both if you want the Danes to accept you as a king. True strength comes from resolve, Eivor. It speaks to us, a stern voice from within. 
I have never heard of talking guts, but a swift axe would silence that inner voice in seconds. You must be prepared. Wait, you're unarmed? Just do your best. I'll be fine. Whoa. We will forge a king out of you yet. Don't hold back. Say goodbye to your shield. You felt that one. I'm still here. I'll battle you. Hard to believe this one will marry Valdis. Don't you think? You're done for. Fight. Finish this, Avor. Any sweeter what I need to do. Oh, damn. Really mess you up. Avor is the victor. But you've shown us something, Oswald. Stay down, Oswald. That's enough. I will. I will not stay down. You fought bravely, not with great skill, but with spirit and courage. Always push back with everything you have, even if you have to get dirty, even if you must break the rules. Because there are no rules, not if you answer a challenge head on. That's where honor lies. Not winning the fight, but living through it. A seaside brawl won't change the brothers' minds. Oswald must show results. We dress old wrongs. Fight back against Ruid and his men. The raiders who attacked Beatley have a camp down the coast. The sooner we remove them, the better. That would go a long way to building you up. And if you brought gifts for the brothers, spoils from the raid, they'd be in your debt. Time to wet your blade, Oswald. Eivor, I expect your longship crew could help with this attack. Get on, boy. I got you, Oswald. Kill the last one. Find something? There's a crate of hack silver here. More than enough to make everyone happy. We'll take it to the ship. A hard won fight. The yeah, first of many, it. Oswald. Have you the will to keep it up? This is my gift to the brothers. I have more than enough wealth in Elmham to widen their eyes, but this will be a symbol of my commitment to our fight. It's a good start. Looks like a nice shield. Take what riches you find to know the witch, then send for the brothers. I'll meet you there. No battle then to Dane would ever follow this lump of lords into battle. I don't care how many shields he brings me. You mean to say you refuse my gifts, Broder? I don't have time for this. It's a generous offering, brother. You'd be a fool to turn your back. Refuse this and your shame will stain the name of your sons and their sons beyond. Stay out of this, wolf kissed. Take the gift. We have bigger problems. One of Ruid's men. Aye. Sniffing around the outer walls, looking for an easy way to slip a few dozen men inside. If there's one scout, there will be more. Something you might have learned if you kept him alive. I was passing water when he surprised me. It was either him or my plow sword. Where did you find this one? Just outside the Northwich walls, by the water's edge. They'll be looking for points of entry to sneak a herd of raiders through. Jesus. Find another scout. We'll question him. I'll look around. The rest of you stay here and out of sight. If I find anyone suspicious, I'll bring him here. Did Ruid send you to? Speak now, and you may live to see tomorrow. Arger swine. That won't make you any friends here. A scolding like that is a mortal offense, boy. 
I killed the bastard. Don't give him time to act again. I'll ask once more. Why were you lurking around Norwich's walls? I came to pay my respects, Lord. To Oswald, the whimpering Saxon ergy of East Anglia. Indeed. Let's enforce it. You have scolded this man twice with forbidden words. It's now his right to kill you. Lick my dunghole. Here is the tongue I use for licking. How does it feel against your ass? When the braziers lit at Dunwich, Ruid and his men will rally. They mean to attack Northwich by its weakest wall. <laughs> you English Danes are soft as butter now. Ruid sends his blessing, lady. He'll see you again very soon. I'd kill him anyway. That's enough to go on. Time to die. <laughs> That wasn't necessary. He insulted you before everyone gathered here. You should have struck him down yourself. Plus, these choice never have an impact. I will not have blood spilt needlessly in my kingdom. This has to end. Wait. Alive, this man was a risk. Valdis, this man spoke as if he knew you. Ruid was my husband. Your husband? You're married already? I was. We've been apart for five summers. I never expected to see him here. And I never wanted to. East Anglia's prosperity depends on our safety and unity. With Ruid's clan stomping around, neither is possible. I must speak with him myself, man to man. There's no place for him in East Anglia. He must hear it from me. Right. I'll start looking for a new king tomorrow. It was good to know you, Lord. Ruid will eat your lungs for supper, Oswald. Steer clear of him. If I'm to be a worthy king, I must meet the man who bedevils us. I'll light the brazier at Donich and face him when he comes. You sure you want to do this? Meeting Ruid in the open comes with many risks. It's the only way. We must face him head on, and we cannot waver. Come, Oswald. We make for Dunwich. And of course, I will see the lot of you there as well. Else the songs of your cowardice will ring out over the generations. I'm sure you're heading to Dunwich any moment. <laughs> but I'm also going to end this episode right here. I'm gonna meet the allies in the next episode. I do hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Well, I'm really liking the gameplay as well. Still loving it very much. And if you also liked it, well please do subscribe. And don't forget to tell your friends. Hit the like button. Hit anything else you see on the screen. Not literally with your fist, but you know, with a mouse click. Watch some other stuff. And hope you guys will have a wonderful day. Thanks for the support. Doi doi!